How's it going everyone? For today's video, I thought we'd talk about the 2019 Ranger Raptor. Now earlier this year, Ford made the huge announcement that it will be bringing back the Ranger nameplate. And not only that, they're also going to bring out a Raptor version of the Ranger, which is really exciting news. So in this video, I thought we'd talk about the latest rumors on the Ranger Raptor, and I'm also going to give you my opinion on it. So with that being said, let's get started. The Ford Ranger. It's undeniably one of the most successful truck nameplates ever produced. For nearly 30 years, the Ranger was a top-selling truck in the U.S. It was reliable, inexpensive, and a lot of fun to drive. For truck long jumps. In fact, the Ranger was so popular that there's a good chance you probably know someone that owns one. But then, the unthinkable happened. In 2011, Ford announced the Ranger would be discontinued. And in 2011, the last Ranger rolled off the assembly line. After nearly 30 years of production, over 7 million Rangers were made. This was sad news for Ranger fans. And since then, many people have wondered if it would ever return. It wasn't until six years later that Ford finally announced they would bring back the Ranger. Today, we are proud to announce that Ranger is coming back to North America in 2019. And they also announced the Bronco is coming back in 2020. Now, when this news broke out, people were very excited. And throughout this year, there have been several sightings of Ranger prototypes out in public. But what we didn't know was that Ford was keeping a secret from us this whole time. This past summer, Ranger prototypes were spotted with big bulky tires and aggressive front end styling, leaving many people to wonder, what exactly does Ford have up their sleeves? Well, on September 6th, Ford made the huge announcement the Ranger would be available with a Raptor variant. Now, in the video, we see a test driver getting ready to drive the Ranger in the Australian Outback. And let me just say, Ford did an extremely good job putting this commercial together. They show the truck going through rigorous testing, and no matter what they throw at it, it handles it like a champ. You see, what makes the Ranger Raptor special is the fact that it has unique suspension components. This suspension gives the truck incredible off-road capability. As for the engine, it's most likely that Ford will put a V6 EcoBoost in it. Now, it's unsure at this time what the displacement will be, but people are speculating it may be a 2.7 liter or a 3.5 liter. Either way, this truck will be an incredible performer. And to top it all off, this truck will almost certainly have a 10-speed automatic transmission. The video ends with the simple caption of coming 2018. And then Ford drops the mic with their built Ford Tough sign. Now, when Ford discontinued the Ranger in 2011, many people were shocked by the news. But there's a reason why Ford decided to discontinue it. Let me explain. You see, back in the early 2010s, Ford's F-Series pickups were doing extremely well. The demand for the F-150 and the Super Duty was increasing rapidly. But the demand for mid-sized trucks such as the Ranger was starting to dwindle. To put things in perspective, Ford sold over half a million F-Series trucks in 2010. But in the same year, Ford only sold about 55,000 Rangers. Considering the fact that the F-Series pickups were doing so well, it only made sense for Ford to discontinue the Ranger. I mean, think about it. Why would Ford continue to produce the Ranger when they're bigger size trucks are selling a lot better. The bigger the truck means the bigger the price, and Ford knew this all too well. As a result, the Ranger was discontinued for the US, and although some people were optimistic it would return, it was looking as if it was the end of an era. But then, something happened. Mid-size pickups started to sell again. And as a result, Chevy brought back the Colorado for 2015. And they would later go on to release a high-performance variant known as the ZR2. Now, of course, Chevy wasn't alone in the mid-size segment. Toyota never stopped its production of the Tacoma. And just like Chevy, Toyota has a performance variant of the Tacoma, which is known as the TRD Pro. Now, I'm aware there's other mid-size trucks on the market, but these trucks don't have the excitement behind them like the TRD Pro and the ZR2. Needless to say, Ford didn't want Chevy and Toyota to steal the spotlight, so that's why they've decided to bring back the Ranger. And the reason they're making a Raptor version is to compete with the TRD Pro and the ZR2. It's definitely going to be interesting when the Ranger hits the market again. And it's very well possible that the Ranger Raptor will become the best mid-sized truck of all time. So what are my final thoughts on the Ranger Raptor? Well, I'll tell you what, I am really excited for this thing to be released. The Ranger's return is long overdue, and I think because Ford is coming out with a Raptor version, Chevy and Toyota, they're going to really be concerned. You know, back in 2011, the mid-sized truck segment had really dwindled from what it once was. And at the time, it made sense for Ford to temporarily discontinue the Ranger to make more money on the full-size pickups. But at the same time, the Ranger was a special truck. I mean, as I'm making this video, I'm driving my 96 Ford Ranger with the five-speed, of course. And I'll tell you, 
it's there's something about this truck it's it's unlike anything else you drive i have a gut feeling that once the ranger comes out next year it's going to become the best-selling mid-size truck again and considering how much better the mid-size segment is doing now i think that ford is going to have a huge success i think what's going to be a selling point for the raptor ranger is the fact that it will be a little less expensive compared to the f-150 raptor now will i be buying the ranger raptor i'll tell you i would love to get one but I'd like to hold off until the Bronco is revealed in 2019. If these renders are what the Bronco turns out to look like, I will definitely purchase one because that would be an awesome vehicle to have, you know, all year round during the winter or off-roading. As much as I enjoy driving my Mustang, it's not fun to drive in the winter time. A real wheel drive muscle car in the winter it's never that fun. Some people like to drive their muscle cars all year round, but for me, it's never enjoyable driving on those icy roads in a rear wheel drive vehicle. I'm always afraid I'm gonna just lose control at some point and you know, mess up my vehicle. So what do you guys think about the Ranger Raptor? Do you think it's gonna be a success for Ford or do you think it's gonna be a failure? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching this video.